right into our program and ask that Brig make his way to the stage, please. So Brig Ricks with Burley P2P Incorporated. Welcome. Big green button, unless you'd like me to advance the slides. Okay. Hello, my name is Brig Ricks and I'm a co-founder and CEO at Burley. And, um, our goal at Burley is to bring the sharing economy to the construction industry. So our website at burley.co has created a marketplace for online construction equipment rentals. That is a place where construction professionals can lend and rent equipment to one another. So, so we're all on the same page. I just want to take a moment to describe what I define as the sharing economy and how we at Burley fit into it. So the sharing economy is a system where people can borrow, rent, or share resources, products, and other things, usually with the aid of technology, to save money, to save costs, to be more efficient. And at Burley, we're trying to help construction professionals save money, earn revenues by sharing their equipment that they are not using. So I'm going to describe a little bit about the problems in the marketplace and then how our platform is helping to address it. So construction equipment, on average, sits idle 70% of the time. And when that construction equipment is not out there working and earning revenue, the owner of it still must pay for insurance, financing expenses, property taxes, maintenance, storage costs, and other expenses. So we offer these equipment owners, whether they're a contractor, a uh, rental agency, a manufacturer, um, an opportunity to share their equipment online and earn revenue from it. So Burley's uh, marketplace um, helps equipment owners to increase the prof their profitability by improving the utilization of their equipment. And owners can access Burley's wide end of users uh, access our marketing and promotional tools without any upfront costs and they receive guaranteed payment terms. So it is a zero risk proposition for them. And on the Burley platform, we handle all those details like the scheduling, the paperwork, uh, that includes insurance, rental contracts, and payments. So on the other side of a transaction, the construction company that's looking for equipment to rent, what is the problem they have and what are we doing to help solve it? As a construction professional, if you have a job lined up and you need to get equipment for it, you will spend hours or days calling around equipment yards trying to line up equipment. You'll be asking them, do you have what I need? Is it available? How much is it? Okay, thank you. Call the next equipment yard over and over again. This is a time-consuming and expensive process. So the value proposition we have for these companies is they can access Burley's shared economy marketplace and they can search in real time what is available in their area, how much it costs, and with a few clicks of their mouse or on their phone, access, book that equipment and have it ready for them. So, what is the size of the marketplace that we're looking to tackle? The American Rental Association projects that by 2021, the size of the equipment rental market will be nearly $60 billion. And PricewaterhouseCoopers projects that by 2025, out of the entire rental sector, half of it will come from sharing economy companies. And these consultants at PricewaterhouseCoopers have also researched and analyzed uh, my particular industry of equipment rentals, peer-to-peer uh, -peer equipment rentals, and they have found that this is an early maturity stage industry that has high uh, growth potential. So currently in the U.S., there is no other company offering a peer-to-peer -peer rental model to the construction industry. 
outside of the US, there are only three companies doing this right now. And as both the equipment rental and sharing economy sectors are so large and showing such strong growth, we agree with PricewaterhouseCoopers that our company has a high growth potential and could be very profitable. So that brings me today to why Burley is here today to talk to you and uh, what it is that we need. We started off with, uh, uh, with some uh, pre-seed funding and with that we performed our market research, we developed a platform and uh, we worked for months with insurance companies all over the world to come up with a bespoke insurance market just for us. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So we're at five minutes. So All right. We'll put another five minutes on. You can finish what you're saying and then open it up to Q and A. All right. Okay. Um, our platform is now live. We launched live a few weeks ago. So go to burley.co, check it out, and that is Burley. So can ask any, answer any questions. What's, uh, what's your app specifically? So tonight we are seeking one hundred fifty thousand dollars. At this, we're coming up out of winter very quickly. I know you don't think so because there's so much snow out there. <laughs> but the spring and summer construction season is starting. We want to be able to aggressively market Burley throughout northern Michigan and, uh, and establish ourselves as a strong alternative to traditional equipment rental yards. Yes? We're nearly all marketing. Yes, our platform is already developed. It is live right now. So we're seeking to have our prices be at least 25% cheaper than equipment rental yards. Now, we don't control the prices. The owner of the equipment renting their equipment controls it. But since they have a lot less uh, overhead fixed cost than an equipment rental yard, and uh, since we're also providing insurance on this transaction, that we can beat those prices. Yes, sir. We try, yes, we do. And we provide, uh, we have a whole list of policies and guidelines for best practices on how a successful rental transaction can occur. No one's gone under. There's been one other company in the US uh, card called uh, Yard Club who was in this marketplace uh, doing a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace rentals and they were actually acquired by Caterpillar, you know, one of the largest manufacturers in the world of construction equipment. And they now all work in-house for Caterpillar. Yes, sir. Right now we are only a web app a mobile friendly website we will be working on having a app launch soon marketing our marketing strategy is really interesting because uh, construction professionals are easy to identify they're registered they're licensed and so we have access to their names their addresses all their contact information so we directly market to them and so we have various uh, direct marketing and digital targeted digital marketing to go after them Yes, B2B, exactly, yes. So our, our target is construction professionals, not the weekend warrior. Is there? Uh, right, we're, we're, we're going for the professional. Right, so we have uh, insurance that will uh, ensure the equipment from damage and loss during the rental period. That, that was a big challenge, mm -hmm. and we worked really hard to make sure we had that in place because we know it's a key component here to be successful. We don't directly. So we're, we're a marketplace, and so that's between the, the whoever's lending the equipment and the renter. So the lender can s set the terms and whether they will deliver the equipment in an area or whether it's available for pickup. We're, we're using the emails that they've given over as part of their licensing information to the state. 
Uh, we're also um, members of the Home Builders Association and we'll be joining other construction associations and marketing within those groups. Yes, over in the corner. Uh, so that's negotiable, and so if we have an, an investor, so uh, we're open to an equity investment, uh, convertible note, it, it's, we'll work up one-on-one -on -one with the investor on that. Yes, sir. We're pre-revenue, we've only launched a few weeks ago. Um, and yes, we, we uh, earn a commission on, on the transaction. That's our revenue source. Okay. Yep. Uh, one more question. Anyone out there? Yes, sir. Uh, right. So we do do some level of vetting on the people who have uh, joined. Um, we do uh, verify their driver's licenses. To finish that yep. after this program. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you, Greg. Yep. Oh, here's that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>